What's up, guys? Um, I'm back here again with some more goodies. Today, I wanted to show you how to play That's What Love Will Make You Do. Um, great tune, great jam. Uh, um, I'm a huge Jerry Garcia uh, fan, Jerry Garcia band, the Grateful Dead, the kind of the whole thing. Huge John Kahn fan. Um, uh, and I kind of gravitated more towards John Kahn uh, bass lines than Phil Lesh. Anybody that knows, Phil Lesh's gr bass lines are genius. But if you want to try and learn them note for note, they're really, it's hard to pin them down. I don't know what the hell he's doing. And so, uh, uh, and I, I it, it, whatever, I, it, no shade. It's just, it's, it's really interesting. Um, although infuriating when you try and like exact, what's ex exactly doing? So John Kahn's a little more, uh, maybe blues based ish, whatever. This is a great fun jam. And I wanted to show it to you because, uh, at least in some of the recordings, the live, uh, recordings, uh, he, he rarely strays from the form. It's just a one, four, five blues, traditional blues, um, uh, jam. And, um, usually I think they play it in C. We, we play it in C. So we'll start in C eighth fret on the, on the E string. And so the, the shape or, or what we'll do, and we'll do that on each, each time we change the, the, it's always the same. So from the G, you're going to just slide up two frets and so it's boom, 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 da, 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 eight, ten, twelve, ten, twelve, ten. And then, and then that's the first part. Boom, 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 ten, eight, seven, ten, eight, ten, uh. So it, so you could you could play that for a while. And then and you of course you want to make it groove, you want to make it swing. And so it, it that's that's where the practice comes in. Um but And then we'll come down to the 4. G and like I say sometimes when we play it um, I will I'll deviate and start just kind of grooving in a, in a, in a C blues. Um, but as is some of the recordings, some of the Jerry Garcia band where they're going, they're going wild, you know, they're, they're, uh, Jerry's ripping a solo and stuff and the bass line pretty much almost stays note for note. He just keeps it clean and solid, which is, is the job of a bass player a lot of, you know what I mean? You got to hold it down. You got to, you got to like let everybody else kind of spread their wings a little bit. And sometimes you got to just kind of, kind of keep it close to the vest and just plunk it out, lock in with your drummer. So, so once you learn that though, and that's why I wanted to show that because this is kind of a, an easy one and it's a great jam. If you haven't uh, listen, just, just look it up on YouTube or wherever um, uh, any of the, that's what love will make you do. Uh, jams are, are just are really fun and it's a good workout uh, especially if you're a beginner if you're kind of new if you can kind of get your if you can if you can get used to that that little pattern and then do the one four five and stuff by the time you're done playing this you it's a lot of it's a lot of work But 
it's a good, yeah, and I, I would call this a, a workout uh, tune. And then you just keep, you keep going. And sometimes I'll use some dead notes. And so to str like to stray, that's 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 up to you. Sometimes, um, you know, you might start like this. You can play around with it and kind of use this as your as your your safe spot. That's a cool little lick there from the, uh, uh, I, I learned that a while ago, um, to like sneak in. If you're in C, it would be the, the, uh, the minor third, but you, so. Anyways. Less, less deviating, I really just wanted to show you that form. And then, um, uh, yeah, throw on the track and, and just play along with it. And I'm, I'm telling you, the song's maybe five or six minutes long or whatever. Five, five or six minutes of this, especially if you don't play every day or if you're, if you're, you're learning or you're, you know what I mean, or you're coming, coming out of a, a dry spell or whatever, um, you'll know, you'll know this, uh, you're putting the work in, but that's what that's what we do and then you know that's what how people run marathons you know what i mean you, you start playing and you just keep playing and then pretty soon usually we, we'll play like three hour shows um three hours worth of music and and fortunately you know i've been pr pretty good to, to to not to develop enough to where that's not that big of a deal and you're and you're, you're you're having a good time you're not worth thinking about your 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 pain in your wrists or in your hands or whatever but um anyhow that's what love will make you do Give it a give it a go, and um, I hope you're well. Thanks.